John here guys and today we're talking about the GoPro Hero 9. This is the hottest action camera on the market. It has a new HyperSmooth 3.0 um, image stabilization built in. This essentially becomes your action camera, your vlogging camera, and your walk around camera replacing all of those other tools. Um, I personally sold my Osmo action little handheld gimbal because I was gonna get this because it's something I can use for that. And as a drone pilot, I can also fly this. This can also be a vlogging camera in the field if I don't feel like bringing my primary camera, which is a Sony a7 III. So we're gonna give you a taste of what the audio sounds like on this outside. We're gonna give you a taste of a few drone flights using this thing. We're gonna give you a taste of a few handheld moving around shots. And the big elephant in the room for my community that uses this as drone pilots is that it gained 30 grams and it also gained some size um, from the Hero 8 black model. That is a significant difference for us because as we're flying it in the air, every gram counts. Does that impact us enough? And is the image good enough to be able to use this for a lot of us? Well, the tool that we use primarily is a five inch size drone like this. Without this GoPro, it weighs about um, 600 grams with the battery. So this is not like a ton of extra weight compared to that. Um, with the GoPro and also a little TPU protection that I printed out for this, it comes right at about 800 grams like this. And it's really just not a problem. This has some very beefy motors. They're 2207 RCN power 6S motors. And by running a smaller 1100 6S pack like this, it's a little bit lighter. You get that to that weight. If I use a 1550 for a little bit longer flight time, that boosts the weight up to about 850, 860. And so how does it fly with that extra weight? Honestly, this thing is not going to notice 30 grams whatsoever. It's just way too powerful for that. I did also print this little thing for me to be able to walk as a little handle or put on a tripod. It's a nice little thing. And if you have a spare prop nut for those of you that fly drones, that will go into the end like that and you can use that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off real quick. These little tabs fold down like that. This is the first couple of flights. It is about to start a four or five day rainstorm here. So I'm trying to get a couple of packs. Just got this in. This is actually the mic on the camera. So you can get a sense. I'm holding it on this Armitan. Um, six inch build, five inch props. It has the RCN power 2207 6S motors. And these motors don't give a damn about the extra 30 grams compared to the Hero 8. So, so far it actually flies amazingly well and smooth the extra weight actually helps me to get a little bit of smoothness um for the freestyle bando flyers i'm not sure if that extra weight is going to be loved by all but i just want the best image if i want to go bando flying i'm just going to use the hd dvr from the dji system not this GoPro footage because who wants to smash this thing? It did come with a year of protection, so I do have a little bit of extra confidence to actually send it. I'm trying to get a few shots before the rain just consumes me. So let's get into it. So is it worth it? I mean, the stabilization 3.0 is very, very nice. It is improved for those of us who don't want to go through the hassles and headaches of putting your footage through an external tool like Real Steady Go as an intermediary step before you actually get to edit your footage. Um, that's something that I just don't like to slow down my workflow with. So this is a perfect solution for me. It is a little bit chunky compared to like all the other action cameras that I've used in the past. Like the GoPro Session 5 has been my primary, the Runcam 5, things of all of that size and form factor. But for me, this will replace three different tools. And so for that, it serves its purpose. I think that I am going to go ahead and have to get an external microphone converter from this so that I can use the microphone I'm using now, which is the Rode Wireless Go. You can see this little um, lav mic on my collar right here. And uh, then I'll be able to get just as good of audio. It is, even though it's wide at arm's length, I wish it was a tiny bit wider, but that, um, since this this lens is user replaceable 
you're gonna be able to replace those things anyway. I don't have any ND filters yet, but I went on a very cloudy day, so the footage is gonna be okay. So you're gonna see some rain on the lens and some of the shots, unfortunately. What do you think, guys? What is gonna be your action camera moving forward? Are you gonna to try to find one of those ultra rare Hero 6s that everybody seems to like for real steady go? The Hero 7, is that gonna be the new darling of FPV? Or are more and more people eventually gonna shift over because I can definitely see some improvements on the microphone. I can see you know, some improvements on the stabilization that's built in. For me, not having to use a, an external tool like Real Steady Go is a huge bonus for me. Um, the price did go up a little bit, but what, you know, if you're gonna be carrying an action camera anyway, why not have the best image? If not, you know, just use the DVR from the DJI system because it looks pretty good. I'll show some side to side just so you can see how good it is, but this is some of the best footage I've ever seen. This is gonna keep me from having to carry my main camera everywhere with me. And uh, it's just nice to have something that you can take with you, keep with you at all times, keep it in a pocket, keep it in a glove box, bust it out, get some footage, strap it to your camera. I'm gonna make a several other videos on this. The first one here is mainly focused on a five inch. I'm gonna focus on how is it carrying this extra weight on some smaller quads? How does it impact those? and uh, we'll see how long it takes somebody to strip this down and make a naked version. I'm also gonna be testing a new tool to be able to decrease the weight of this very thing without having to strip it apart. So stay tuned for that as well. Thanks guys.